Julian Assange is the founder of WikiLeaks. Tonight he's in jail in London. Reportedly he's in poor health. He was arrested last year. U.S. authorities have charged him with violating the Espionage Act of 2017. Now, whatever you think of Julian Assange and what he did, he's effectively a journalist. He took information and he put it in a place the public could read it. He may die in prison. The current president, Donald Trump, has the power to pardon Julian Assange. Indications he might, many are pushing for it. Should he do it? And if so, why? Julian Assange's fiance, Stella Morris, joins us tonight. Stella Morris, thanks so much for coming on tonight. I appreciate it. So this is a subject you. that you've thought about, obviously, a lot. But give us the condensed version of why you believe the president should pardon Julian Assange. Well, Julian's been suffering uh, for 10 years now. He lost his liberty 10 years ago, right after the U.S. diplomatic cables were published by WikiLeaks. Uh, he's been in prison for two years now. He's not serving a sentence. He's just there because the U.S. Um, wants to put him on trial. And the consequences of a trial against Julian don't just affect him or us as a family. They affect everybody because everyone agrees that this is a terrible, terrible case. It's a terrible case because it is the end of the First Amendment if it comes to pass. Uh, Julian doesn't face a fair trial in the U.S. He'll be tried in Alexandria, Virginia, um, where the jury pool will be composed of uh, the, um, the people who live in, in Virginia who uh, have a preponderance of, of people who work for, for um uh, security contractors and and the deep state and yes. essentially once he gets to the U.S. he uh, he'll be in the hands of the deep state and I, that's why I've I've put out uh, um, I've pleaded uh, the president to to show the mercy that the deep state will will not show Julian if he's extradited. So one of the so striking things about this case is that he is in jail because he released documents, which he did not steal. He simply provided a platform for those documents that showed the U.S. government was illegally spying on me and everybody else in this country. 350 million Americans spied upon illegally by their government. Now, the people who did that, Clapper, Brennan, people who knew about it, participated in it, they are not being punished. But the guy who revealed that they were doing it is. What do you make of that? Well, look, as I said, everyone agrees that this is a terrible case. Um, Republicans, Democrats, the ACLU, the Washington Post, the New York Times editorial boards, the only people who are pushing for this are the worst elements of the deep state. Um, That's true. Not just because they want to silence Julian, but because they want to end the First Amendment, because they see the First Amendment as a threat um, to uh, their malfeasance, their abuse being exposed. That's what this case is about. Do you have any hope that Joe Biden would pardon Julian Assange? Or is that a rhetorical question? Uh, as I said, there are people um, in the Democrats, in the Republicans, that really understand what this case is about. Um, and it's in no one's interest except those worst elements of the deep state that this um, this goes ahead because if it does, it creates a terrible precedent that can be used against everyone. Everyone, it can be used yes. against you, Tucker. Um, and, and Julian is, you know, he's. Uh, I see a lot of things uh, that are said about Julian and and that are entirely false. Julian is a libertarian. Um, he comes from a, a deep distrust of institutions of of government. Not because he's uh, anti-authority um, per se, but because institutions are made up of people and people are fallible. And yes, some people are principled, but many people are also corrupt and corrupt people in power are dangerous because yes. they lie us into wars. And that affects us. That affects our families. It affects our brothers and sisters and sons and daughters who are then um, sent to war and, and sometimes, you know, uh, don't survive. So it affects everyone. Um, and and basically, this case is about uh, revenge against Julian. And Julian is a, you know, the president has to think about what his legacy will be. Julian is, is the foremost, perhaps the foremost um, 
free speech campaigner uh, alive in the West, and he's imprisoned. And does the pres yes. president want that to be his legacy, or does he want to, you know, ensure that the First Amendment survives this trial and uh, survives by, you know, pardoning him and not having this trial? He is fortunate to have you Sorry. speaking for him because you are making you are making a powerful case. Stella Morris, I appreciate your coming on tonight. For what it's worth, I think the president probably does want to pardon him. I think there are a lot of sinister people who don't want the pardon to happen. We'll see what happens. Great to see you tonight. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Tucker.